and welcome back to another video. I am super excited to bring you this video today. It's the first of a series. I'm probably going to do three or four more related videos and it's going to be my holiday gift guide for this upcoming holiday season. Now this video is really going to be focused on my little luxury. These gifts would make awesome stocking stuffers or little add-ons to gifts and I try to keep everything under $50. There's one thing that is $55 I believe but almost everything else is under $50 and I've been planning this video for a while. I've been browsing so many websites to try and find the cutest little gifts that I would love to receive and that I would love to give. And in the comments down below, let me know which video you'd like to see next, whether it's a gift guide for him, a gift guide for her, or I'm going to be doing these little DIY like sets of stuff that you can put together. So the first thing I want to talk about is this adorable hairbrush. Everyone can use a hairbrush. And I was browsing the website and I just like fell in love with it. I almost ordered it because if you don't know, I've always loved mermaids. And this brush is adorable. Not only does it look like a seashell which is perfect for you know mermaids brushing their hair it comes in rose gold and a gorgeous like mermaid teal purple gradient color and at $22 I don't think it's too crazy for something that is both useful and really cute to look at the next thing I'm going to talk about is a hand cream trio. Now you can purchase these everywhere, drugstores, Targets, Winners, TJ Maxx. The one I'm showing you is really adorable. It is $16 and it comes with three. I really like these because the packaging was really beautiful. As much as we'd like to say that packaging doesn't affect us, it totally does. And also, if you have a bunch of girlfriends to buy for, a bunch of people to buy for in general, buying things in sets and then splitting them up if you want to make gift little baskets for if you have like a bunch of friends you're buying for is also really cost effective. Now I don't know about you but I am constantly wearing black I'm wearing leggings and with two dogs well they don't live with me but I see two dogs like almost every single day and seeing other people's dogs and just lint from life I am constantly lint rolling my pants or my leggings or my jackets or anything and I came across these really adorable and unique looking lint rollers the most annoying thing about lint rollers is that they're not really portable and I'd like to be able to leave one in my car without crumbs and hair and just random stuff getting stuck like on the lint roller so when I came across this lint roller I I thought it was genius and I'll definitely be ordering some. Basically it's a retractable lint roller so even if you want you can throw it in your purse and you don't have to worry about like things getting collected on it and then you have to waste. So this one is so brilliant. It comes in a bunch of different patterns for the actual lint roller so if you want to just get a plain white or a plain black they also have marble. It's really really nice and definitely something that I will be purchasing because I always want to have a lint roller but I hate like you know the way it looks like when you pull it out of your purse or pull it out of a drawer and there's all lint on it and crumbs and god knows what. So I love that these are reusable and I definitely think that everyone could use one in their stocking. They're also refillable and they're only $9.99. So it's definitely something Something that you can add on to gifts or if you just want to put it in stockings and I just think it's brilliant and such a good thing to have. The next thing is not going to be for everyone but I think in this day and age where people are getting more in touch with themselves and a lot of people are into crystals I think this would make a really cute little add-on to a gift or even like putting it on top of a present and wrapping it kind of making it part of the wrapping but also useful. It's a Palo Santo crystal bundle so it comes with some Palo Santo incense and it also comes with a crystal so I think that's a really cute thing if someone into like health and wellness and maybe like more spirituality I think that's also a really cute thing to add the next thing is a little fun twist on a trend that seems to have taken over this year and that is fidget spinners now fidget spinners were a huge thing this past year and a really cute thing about this one is that it comes with three lip balms so I think it's really cute to throw in your purse you have a fidget spinner you have three lip balms it's a novelty product but I think if that person is into those sort of things that they would really find it cute and it's a fun little thing they're gonna be like oh my god a fidget spinner lip balm I just thought it was really cute. The next thing is Egyptian magic. Now you guys know I swear by Egyptian magic. I use it in the morning. I use it at night. I've been using it as a primer. Egyptian magic for some reason is something that people are really hesitant to buy. I think it's because it's definitely a weird product. It's like a hard salve and people might be a little bit hesitant to use such a heavy I mean it looks heavy but it's not really that heavy but they might be hesitant to use a, such a heavy product on their face so I think throwing this into a stocking is a great idea you can get there's a bigger version than this there's also you know this is like the medium version I also see at Walmart that they have well Walmart in the States they have these like little mini tiny like lip balm size ones so if you want to just get a little lip balm size one to throw into your, into the person's stocking or as a little add-on to the gift I think that's also a great idea but I I mean I would just go whole hog and get them a little tub if you're in the US it's so easy easy to get. You can get it at Costco, Whole Foods, like anywhere. In Canada, I'm hoping it starts to become 
become more popular and more readily available, but they do have a store locator on their website if you are interested. Another thing that I think would be a fun gift is a card game, sort of like Cards Against Humanity, or a game that I'm really interested in and want to get is called What Do You Meme? I love memes, and so basically it kind of is similar to the idea of Cards Against Humanity, except you answer, I'm guessing you answer like a statement with a meme. So it's really funny, and especially during the holidays when you're with family and friends a lot, it's fun to have games. I recently just purchased Cards Against Humanity and also like that Speak Out game, and when we go up to Mike's mom's cottage for the holidays, we're going to bring it because it's just fun and it's something to do. But What Do You Meme actually sounds like the funniest game, and I think I would like it even more than Cards Against Humanity. Another thing that kind of goes hand in hand with entertainment is a Bluetooth speaker. This one is by the brand Oki and it was sent to me. Mike absolutely loves the speaker. It's small, it's compact, I can sit it on the couch, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a Bluetooth speaker, it's under 20 bucks, it looks really expensive I find. It has good sound but it is really loud and it does give you some music so if you have like game rooms or something or you just really enjoy listening to music like out loud, I think this is an awesome little gift or a little add-on. Another gift that I think is fun, I think I think it's something that everyone looks good in are those faux fur, I can't say that, <laughs> faux fur beanies, the ones that have like a knit and then like a big ball at the top. I think those hats are so cute and I think they look good on everyone. I'll link some of my favorites down below. I think that would also make a fun little stocking stuffer. On the topic of hair, you guys know that I love scrunchies. I think everyone should have a scrunchie because they're so comfortable to sleep in and put your hair up and you don't have to worry about creases. And as an added benefit, most of them are really, really cheap. Like I'm looking at a pack right now that's three. $3.99 for three. You can get them in a bunch of colors. The next thing is a candle set by the brand Voluspa. Voluspa is a more luxe candle company than say like Bath & Body Works or DW Home. They're definitely a luxury thing and I like buying them for people because I know even with me personally, I love the way they smell but for me to spend $30 on one single candle is like a little hard for me, never mind like the $100 diptyque or John Malone candles. So that's why I love receiving those as gifts. Voluspa has a bunch of different sets available that are under the $50 mark. They're luxury. I feel like everyone associates Voluspa with luxury and I think it's just a nice little treat for someone who might not necessarily spend the money on the Voluspa candles for themselves. Another thing that I think makes a great gift are Swell water bottles. I recently this past year purchased a few of them. I love Swell bottles. They keep your drink hot or cold for like 12 hours, but honestly, I feel like they can keep them cold for up to 24 hours. They have a ton of different designs for whoever you're shopping for, whatever type of style someone has. I think it's something that not everyone would buy for themselves, but in my opinion, I think everyone would love receiving it. On the same note, I have been obsessed with my Starbucks tumbler that I got. I have been struggling to drink water recently. I don't know why. I used to be so good about it. And last week, I decided to purchase a big Starbucks tumbler that's 750 milliliters, and I have been drinking way more water. They can be a little bit pricey. I think mine was around $30, so they're not cheap, but I think that there's something really fun to get for someone. If someone, like, let's say they were into, like, health or wellness, you could get them one of those with some collagen packets. I don't know, like, cater to their wants or what they're interested in. The next thing that I think would make a great gift under $50 is an oil diffuser. A lot of people, when they think of oil diffusers, they think of spas or, you know, nail salons, but personally, I love having an oil diffuser. My oil diffuser is by the brand Sage and it was a little bit expensive so I mean I think mine was around hundred dollars you definitely don't need to spend that I'll link some of my favorites down below oil diffusers are amazing if someone suffers from anxiety get them a nice diffuser maybe that has lights with it to set the mood some oils like peppermint lavender or maybe do some research for like oil blends of stuff that they're like suffering from so I love oil diffusers you can also get them a little set of oils I think it helps make the air actually feel clean like if you cook a lot I cook a lot with garlic onions and stuff like that. You know sometimes that scent can kind of linger. I feel like when I use an oil diffuser it purifies the air versus a candle that just kind of like puts a scent on top of a scent already, so I'm a big fan of oil diffusing. The next thing is a little bit pricier, but this is the L&M Locket Cuff. She sent this to me and I think it's just absolutely stunning. It comes in at a little bit higher than my $50 price budget for this video, but I did want to include it because it is $55, so it's not too far off. This looks so luxe and so expensive. Um, it comes in two sizes. I believe she sent me the small one, I'm not sure. You can also customize it with um, a stone 
stone. I believe she has all 12 birthstones and it is just beautiful. She also has more pricier options, so I may be mentioning some of those in my girls gift guide video, but I just think that for this price, $55, it looks so luxe and I, I just love it. And I haven't taken off since I got it. Since we're talking about jewelry, I did not want to make this a whole advertisement for Coffee and Couture, but my jewelry line does have a ton of affordable options. For those of you that don't know, I have a jewelry line with my sister Tony, Coffee and Couture, and we do have a bunch of affordable options. All of our crystals are Swarovski crystals. Our prices are really good. Our bracelets are made with stainless steel. Most of our pieces are made with stainless steel, but obviously like the gold plated stuff is not real gold for the price. But my probably favorite item for the holiday season this year is our Zodiac necklace. I love these. I actually wasn't planning on even selling them until people showed a lot of interest in them. I think this is a great gift. I have not taken this off since I got it. It's just a really sweet gift. It's $22. I think this is a great gift if you're looking for something for your girlfriend or if you have kids. For those of you who may not know, um, we all have a zodiac sign and our zodiac signs have constellations. So that is what is on the necklaces. I think this is a super cute idea. My boyfriend Mike is an Aquarius, so I want to make one that has like the Aquarius on it, but I keep forgetting. So I think it's a really sweet idea if you're a boyfriend watching this or if you're a girlfriend and you want to get something for your significant other, you can get your sign put on and they can wear your sign, which I think is sweet and not as obvious as wearing like an initial. But I think this is just such a gorgeous necklace and it has been really, really popular. So definitely scoop one up before the holiday season to get it in time. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is a Rebecca Minkoff card holder and it comes in at $45. It's available on Amazon Prime. I'm a big fan of Rebecca Minkoff's small leather goods. I think her quality is great and I love her cute little sayings. It looks like the card case is made with Safiano leather so it looks very very luxe and for $45 you can't really go wrong and especially in this day and age where everyone is using PayPass and you know tap and you can pay on your phone or your Apple Watch or anything like that. I think a lot of people are transitioning to a card holder versus a full-size wallet. Speaking of wallets, you guys know I love my YSL wallet, the one that has five card slots and a zip. I actually found some more affordable dupes. They're not under $50, most of them, but they are way cheaper than the price tag that I paid for the YSL wallet. So I will link the original YSL wallet as well as some dupes in the down bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I did wear my Christmas pajamas for this video. So don't forget to let me know which video you would like to see next from me in this series because I know the holidays are quickly creeping up on us. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.